Brad, Trish, you come here in this beautiful place in the company of your family, relatives, friends, to say what are arguably some of the most solemn and the most serious words that you're ever going to speak in all of your life. You're about to exchange a series of promises with each other and enter into a legal and a social commitment that will place your two lives on a common path for years and for decades yet to come. About four years ago, Brad and Trish got invited, I believe, to a, a party by mutual friends. She called us the next day gushing about this great guy she met, and she said his name was Brad, uh, he's a pilot, he went to Montessori school, and he's very good looking, and that they hit it off right away. <laughs> Leading up to the wedding, I couldn't help but wonder what was it going to feel like to walk Trish down the aisle. Of course, as a dad giving away his only daughter, I knew I would have mixed emotions, but let me tell you, it feels great. And it feels great because I know they're made for each other. They've got the perfect match, a match made in heaven. I've only been speechless a few times in my life. Uh, the first was when I met my lovely wife, and most recently I was speechless when Trisha told me what the budget was for the wedding. But today we had the, uh, a, a very good father-daughter moment and I was able to see her before the wedding and I was literally speechless and Trisha, you are an absolutely beautiful bride. Um, I love you with all my heart and I know by the smile on your face, this is the happiest day of your life. Can't cry too much. <laughs> wow. Love you. Unbelievable. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Yay. You look incredible. Oh my god, I see you. Spectacular. <laughs> Dearest Trish, in exactly one year we'll be standing at the altar on the final step spending the rest of our lives together. I can honestly say I've never been so sure of anything in my life. Except that our future children are gonna have the worst handwriting. I'm grateful each day I wake up and get to be your man and consider myself one of the lucky ones who found a true soulmate. So as you read this on our wedding day, know that I love you more than ever and my love grows each and every day we are together. Thank you for being the cutest cutie that I ever cutied. Today is going to be a great day. Love you, sweets. Take Trish for your lawful wife, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to have and to hold from this day forward until death do you part. 
I do. Trish, do you take Brad for your lawful husband? For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to have and to hold from this day forward until death do you part? I do. <laughs> what God has joined together, people should not divide. Amen. Trish. Accept this ring as a symbol of my love and of my fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Are you ready? Uh, get on there. Come on now. There you go. Brad. This Accept this ring as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love and, of my fidelity, and of my fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. At the end of the day, love is far more than merely a feeling or an emotion. In fact, it comes down to a choice, a decision that we make in freedom to be there with and for each other, to face the headaches, the heartaches, the setbacks that unfortunately are part of every human life together and to savor the laughter, the joys, and the little victories that come into each of our lives together. May Almighty God bless all here present, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This concludes the rite of Christian marriage. It is my privilege and my pleasure to present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Myers. Trish has to look forward to. Somebody who's dedicated and committed and thinks about you every day. And that's your life together. And I think it's gonna be great and I think that uh, he's lucky to have you and we're lucky to have you too. So everybody, I'm gonna take Trish's. Hit him with the hind. Love ya. so happy that you found each other. You both look at life as an adventure. You've already experienced more adventures in your four years together than most of us will in a lifetime. So please, let's raise our glasses. Trish and Brad, cheers to a lifetime of adventures as you officially begin your journey together. Cheers.